Hello, Europe. It's William calling from Wooby Blogs, and today I'm joined by Patrick, our correspondent in Austria. Now we are very excited because we are joined by pop star, model, actor, celebrity, and supernova hopeful Marcus Riva. Hello, Marcus. Hi, hi from Riga. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we met, you had brown hair, but now you're a blonde. Yeah, I'm uh, like a blonde guy for almost like half a year, and it's because of the TV show that I did last uh, fall in uh, Moscow in Russia, and the producers decided me to make this very blonde guy, and so I'm still sticking with this image because. Uh, uh, on when uh, on this uh, Sunday, there's gonna be a music video premiere for my new single "Take Me Down," which is also for the Supernova and Eurovision. And the first preview actually is going to be on Supernova because uh, on the background screens uh, uh, there's gonna be this new uh, music video. And like straight after the TV show, it's gonna be online. Uh, we just stick with this uh, blonde image uh, at the moment and probably after some time we're gonna switch to some uh, some other image uh, but now it's like from Baltic states the blonde Marcus Riva. <laughs> <laughs> do blondes have more fun? Uh, I do have a lot of fun all the time and uh, uh, I mean it's it's not actually not the first time when I'm blonde. I went for a blonde like five years ago and it was fun and now it's nice to be back. Marcus, you are back and you're back with the song Take Me Down. Could you tell us about it? Uh, Take Me Down is uh, something different from the things that I did before because I was always like this uh, fun guy and like with party songs and a bit of emotional songs as well like but they were more like indie pop or pop underground or something like that but this is i think it's very mainstream song and it's uh, pretty epic and i can show my emotional side and i'm gonna do that on supernova and eurovision and uh, i think it's something different from the things that i did before are you thinking about anybody when you sing your song, Take Me Down? Uh, there are some figures <laughs> from my past that I, that I uh, can relate the song, but I mean, it's, uh, it's quite a dark song, but uh, the, the message is uh, very light because it's, uh, I'm absolutely not the depression type and pessimistic type of guy. I'm very positive and always look forward for the best and for the all the best and uh, so I think it's it sounds quite like uh, dramatic but the message is very very light and no matter what happens in life I will go with you because I love you so 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 much I think that's that's how it goes and we all love you too <laughs> <laughs> now, last year you competed with the song Lights On. Why did you want to come back this year? Well, last year was uh, the first year for me as a solo artist because I did some uh, songwriting before for the Eurovision and for the national selection. But last year I tried as a performer for the first time and I was like, oh, what's happening here and how it all goes. And I was just like, uh, newcomer for, for, for the contest but after this year I decided to to go for everything and I hope it's gonna be all good and I have a quite good experience over the last uh, few months and uh, I take uh, last year as a good experience and this year I should do my best so do you prefer your song from this year or from last year I, I think I prefer a song from this year because uh, this is this is something deeper and where you can uh, where you can put a great show 
because uh, we're gonna make a great show for, 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 for the contest. Uh, maybe not for the first show, but as it goes further and further, it's uh, gonna be more and more uh, uh, interesting. And not only the song, but also like the whole concept is got, there's a lot of good ideas for, from my producers and they want to make a really, really good show. And what was your reaction last year when you placed 11th? Were you disappointed? I wasn't disappointed. I was very happy that I made it to the final. And I think uh, you can always do better. And I was, uh, I, was, uh, I was quite satisfied with how I did. Of course, I can always sing better and be better for somebody. But I was, uh, I was, I was happy and I didn't expect like... Uh, some kind of big wonders gonna happen. Of course, I, I was like, maybe I would like to win, but but uh, I took it as a great journey, and uh, it's it's a game. You have to. Everyone wants to win, but uh, you have to know how to lose as well. And I, I was not disappointed. I was partying all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you learn from your test my experience last year? Um, I think that was one of the concerts where where there's a, a huge audience, not only from Latvia, but I mean there are so many people uh, watching or and all other national concerts. So uh, a lot of people get to know me and uh, hear the name Marcus Riva and uh, I think every stage is like a great experience and uh, that was that that was like a really nice school for me mm -hmm. and of course you never know what's going to happen and last year Artsim Nyeki won with Cake to Bake were you surprised? I was surprised because uh, all the expe expectations were absolutely different but um, um, how to say, it is how it is, I mean, I wish all the best for the, all performers and all the contestants from this year, from last year, so how it is, uh, how it was, that it was, and we are all looking just, uh, in, I, I am looking for the best future. Uh, sadly, Latvia has not made it to the final since Eurovision in Eurovision since 2008. Uh, do you think your song could get Latvia back into the final? I think so because uh, uh, last 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 year I participated in uh, this big uh, prime time TV show Hachuk Miladze, which is like a sort of Simon Cowell in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, this Mr. Miladze, he's a producer and composer, he's a legendary person. And he was making uh, a new boys band. And so I decided to go to Moscow for the castings and uh, I made it through the first casting, then the second one, and then we went to the boot camp and there was a big uh, and really amazing, if you can find it on YouTube, you should watch because the production was absolutely amazing and stage was so huge I think even bigger than <laughs> for the Eurovision and uh, that was the best experience for me in my life and it was like a new and huge uh, platform for me as an artist because I got a huge fan base uh, from Russia from uh, Ukraine from Belarus Belarusia <laughs> from Kazakhstan from even from Latvia and even there are like a lot of people following this uh, TV show and they are supporting me and I think that from these uh, few countries I could get some 12 points <laughs> <laughs> in the big final so so I think I th I think I could I could get Latvia to the final and uh, make a good show because uh, at the moment uh, one of my producers is Alan Bodoya, who has done a lot of good and like very amazing music videos for uh, Russian artists and Ukrainian artists, and 
uh, like Tina Carroll, who was also in Eurovision from Ukraine, and he actually made this uh, uh, production for Loboda when oh. uh, she was uh, participating in uh, Eurovision Song Contest from Ukraine in uh, Moscow. I think it was 2006 or seven or something. And so he has this very nice vision, and uh, I think we, if we win, and if we go to Austria, then we're gonna put a lot of a uh, lot of good people and a lot of good production to make it not like take me down, take me down, but it's gonna be like everyone's gonna be watching. Oh wow, wow, this is so cool. So maybe we'll see you in a hamster wheel like Svetlana. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Alas. Um, on Sunday, it was the first semifinal of Supernova. What, or sorry, first heat rather. What did you think of it? I was, uh, uh, of course, watching that because it was interesting to see how it all goes. And I have to be on the stage already on this uh, Sunday. And I like that they changed a bit the concept and. Uh, they are improving very good in production, so it looks much better than from the last year. <laughs> and uh, maybe not sure about a few songs and few performers, but that is just my personal opinion. But in uh, in general, I think it's a good step to change the format and to find better ways to select the song, the artist, which is very important because not only the song, is working and not only the artist is working and I think it's like a whole package the person the song and all the production that's very important so in your heat there are many different uh, styles of songs uh, who do you think uh, who's your biggest competitor uh, Actually, I haven't heard all the songs because uh, some of the songs are like still in process and I'm going to hear them for the first time, I think, on Saturday when there's going to be a uh, first rehearsal. And uh, I mean, th there, are, there are good songs uh, as well. Uh, and I will not say which one I like, but, but there are songs that I like. <laughs> A lot of readers on Weebly Blogs and all over the internet are saying that Marcus Riva is the favorite to win. Do you see this as pressure or motivation? It's both. It's like a, like pressure. It's like pressure for myself, and uh, it's also like a huge motivation because my fans and my uh, followers and supporters they are the biggest motivation to go and to to not think what's going to happen uh, like after the show, but I, I really want to use those three minutes to really open my soul with the song, take me down and to touch them. Like, like when, I, when I first showed this song to one of my friends, she was literally crying and she was saying, wow, this is so emotional and that is so good. And I think that's uh, the best for the artist to, to hear this, uh, that people are touched by your uh, material. Uh, you have done a lot of modeling. Uh, how did you get involved in this uh, business? Actually, a lot of people think that I'm still doing that, but I'm, I'm doing that like as a musician. And there are some projects where I'm involved as a model, but it's like not because you are a model, but because of you are like a musician, Mark Sue, some somebody knows you and like that. But I was doing that very accidentally, I think eight or nine years ago, when I was asked for, from from one uh, Latvian designer to participate in, in the fashion show. And I was like, okay, I, I can do that. It's nothing uh, like, nothing like extreme. <laughs> and then I was like getting more and more jobs and more projects. And I did some modeling in New York as well, but it was not nothing like major. I wasn't the billboards, <laughs> but it was it was a nice experience. But I understood that it's it's not for me. It's like it's just your sort of flesh, and uh, I 
I, I need to tell something to the world, not to, not to sell my image and not to sell my sell my body. Mm -hmm. And has a photographer ever made you feel uncomfortable? Obviously, they like to photograph you in as little clothing as possible. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, that's that's also the thing that uh, I don't like about modeling because uh, it involves a lot of uh, sort of sexism and uh, how to say it's like when you go to the castings, it's like then you're not tall enough, then you're not like skinny enough, then you're not like muscle enough, and you're like always not enough, not enough something. And it it all because of your outer looks, and it, I think it's uh, it's just not for me. And I I, I don't like this attitude that uh, models are dumb because there are a lot of uh, very smart models, and I have a lot of uh, girlfriends who are very successful models, and they are from Latvia, and they are living in New York now and doing like major major fashion shows, like for Tom Ford. Armani and Victoria's Secret, and so I'm very happy to see them doing <laughs> their best in the modeling. But it's absolutely not for me. Of course, if if uh, Tom Ford is gonna call me, like, hey Marcus, we're gonna put you on our commercials next fall, then I would say yes, but um, not like doing that very serious. Uh, you have spent a lot of time in New York, Moscow, and of course Riga. Um, where did you be the happiest? Uh, where were you the happiest? Um, I love, I, I mean, I'm very international person. I'm actually, recently I'm flying to Kiev a lot of, uh, a lot of times. And like, I think every two weeks I'm in Riga and then to Kiev, uh, doing my project Marcus Riva and uh, I mean, I feel comfortable, comfortable where, where, whenever it's it's a work for me and where, where, wherever I could uh, fulfill my as an artist because uh, I don't like to just uh, sit at home and like like doing nothing <laughs> and uh, I, I always like lo love to work uh, I now I'm like every day for several hours doing. Uh, rehearsals for the supernova and like writing the new material and uh, doing that doing that so it's it's very busy and uh, it was it was very nice in new york as well and it was a huge experience and i met a lot of great people and uh, new york will always be a place where uh, i would like to return and live for a while but uh, work-wise i think europe and uh, Russia and uh, all this uh, uh, continent is uh, is my home. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier that appearing on the Russian TV show boosted your popularity uh, even at home in Latvia. How big of a change was it when you came back from the show? It was crazy because there were a lot of people who actually, of course, didn't know what Marcus River is, and I was I was even walking into the grocery store like uh, the one who's like next to my my door and with like this uh, hoodie and like buying some water and milk and uh, the woman behind the desk was like oh uh, i'm so happy for you you're so great and we keep our fingers crossed and it was so nice and then I, then, then the next hour i went to the bank and there was also like i was doing some some technical things with the bank and uh, then she was like, uh, oh, do you have any questions? Uh, by the way, we were like very big fans of this show. And so I was like, what, what is going on? And it was, it's so nice because the people are so nice and they are really following and, and supporting me. We're, we're supporting me during this TV show. And uh, I have such a great fan base in Belarusia, Belarus, and I went there already with the, with the concerts, and it's it's like a dream come true, and that's that's the thing I want to do. Not being like famous, but to to make people happy, and they are happy, 
when they see me and when they listen to my music and that's so so such a blessing for me uh do you have a message for your fans and of course our readers of the big dogs yeah of course i mean that's uh, th that's the thing uh, that's happening in the world right now because i mean it's, it happens all the time there's a lot of crazy shit going on like wars and like crises and money is not enough for everyone and then some disease and something like that but i think it's always very very good to stay as a people as a person as a good person and give a lot of positive energy and uh, give a lot of love and i think music and uh, arts is the best way to to give it to so I am so happy that there are so many people who are excited about not only my music and not only about my projects that I'm doing, but in general, like they are so happy to hear a lot of new music and go to the concerts and reading books and uh, taking this uh, best experience and best emotions from, from the arts. And I think art is going to save this world. <laughs> Let's hope so. And we hope that you'll be the one to do it. <laughs> Now, of course, our readers, you can watch Marcus compete in the second heat of Latvia's Supernova this Sunday. He's singing the song Take Me Down, and we're sure y'all are going to want to go down, pick up your phone, and vote. Thank you to Patrick. Thank you to Marcus. Um, thank you so much. And we can't wait to hear you sing on Sunday. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.